Hi, my name is Reza Rad from Radicad, and previously I showed you how easy it is to create a date dimension or calendar table using Power Query in Power BI. In this video, I'm going to show you the next step, how to add, uh, how to add fiscal columns or financial columns to that date dimension. Let's check it out. As you can see here, I have a date dimension created in Power Query. If you want to learn how this is created, go and check out the previous video I've created about date dimension in Power BI. Now this date dimension has calendar columns, year, month, date, everything. Now what I want to do is to add fiscal columns or financial columns to it. I'm going to make this also uh, through a variable. So what I'll do is I will go into uh, the advanced editor, let me enable zooming, I'll go to the home tab, uh, advanced editor. In the advanced editor, um, I'm going to add a new variable. So these are variables that I have so far, start date years to generate. I'm going to add another variable here, let's say fiscal year start month. And uh, I'm going to set this as the month that the fiscal year starts. For example, if fiscal year starts at July, I'm going to put this 7. If it starts at um, April, this is going to be 4, right? So now that, that I have this, I'll click on done. So I just created the variable. I could create parameter again. I'm not doing that as another parameter because I want one query to include everything. Then you can just copy this query and use it everywhere else. Now, uh, there are different methods to calculate a financial uh, uh, column like fiscal year, fiscal quarter, fiscal period. Uh, one of those methods, which is an easy method, is to do it this way. Um, I can add a column. I can add uh, a number of months to this date and use that as the base of my uh, fiscal calculation. Right. So under add column, I'll select a custom column. And the function that I will be using here is date.addMonth. Uh, it asks for a date field. So I assign the date field here and the number of months that I want to add this. Uh, for fiscal calculation, this is a calculation that can work. So 13, number of months 12 plus 1, minus the fiscal year start month, fiscal year start month variable that we have, right? Uh, and make sure that this is exactly the same uh, spelling that you have used in your variable uh, Power Query is case sensitive. I'm going to call this fiscal date, but notice that fiscal date, actually there is no fiscal date. You have fiscal year, fiscal quarter, fiscal period, but not the date. And the reason that I call it fiscal date is that I want this to be used as the base of fiscal calculation and then I will remove it, right? So this is my calculation. I'll click on OK. This will create a new date field for me. Uh, fiscal year start month wasn't recognized. Probably I... Uh, mistyped it fiscal year start month let me just copy it from here fiscal year start month yep i think uh, that was the reason i think there was a t missing in my expression uh, which is fine okay now it creates a date it's a new date this is not the actual date if you compare this with the actual date you see that there's a difference here uh, which is fine we want to use this as the base of our date um, fiscal calculation. I'll convert this to a date, data type, and now from this I'll fetch the fiscal quarter, fiscal year, and fiscal month. And the way that I do it is to select this column first, then under add column, date, year, year. This would be my fiscal year. Let's call it fiscal year. I'll click on fiscal date again, add column, date, quarter, quarter of year. And I'm going to call this fiscal quarter. And the last one, fiscal date, date, month, which I'm going to call it fiscal period. Right. So fiscal year, fiscal quarter, fiscal period. When you look at these, compare it with this date, you'll say it is wrong because you are comparing with a date which is not the actual date. This is just a date that we calculated these from. 
After calculating this, make sure you right click and remove this. This is very important. Otherwise, you will uh, assess your calculation based on this date. This is not a real date. So make sure you remove the fiscal date. Now you have your fiscal columns and you can compare it with the actual date. Right. Now let's compare it for one of these dates. For example, my fiscal year starts at uh, July. So I'm going to 1st of July 2011. I'm clicking on that row. It shows that the date is 1st of July 2011, calendar year is 2011, month is 7, quarter is 3. But if I come down here, I'll see that fiscal year is 2012 because this is the uh, month that fiscal year starts. Fiscal period 1, fiscal quarter 1. And if I look at, uh, let's say, 30th of June, 30th of June is quarter four of the fiscal year 2011. Right. So this shows you very easy how the calculation works. If I go and change that uh, fiscal year starts to four, then my fiscal year start month would be April. This calculation is a calculation that always works. Very simple to calculate and very useful. Now I have a date dimension which has calendar columns, all the calendar columns here, plus the fiscal columns at the end. Uh, to calculate fiscal weeks, the process is slightly different because then your uh, date dimension should be created based on a weekly process. Uh, I'll explain that in another video. This is just talking about when fiscal periods are month, not weeks. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our channel. We'll have uh, more Power BI videos, more AI videos, uh, and uh, make sure to check them out. Thank you.